Hi, I'm Dr. Greg Castello, Board Certified Family Practice with CostelloWellness.com, and it's December 6th, and we're already doing our first influenza update because influenza is here. So we do a influenza surveillance with the CDC every week. Hospitals send down influenza samples for confirmation and they monitor the flu activity and they also monitor in the CDC what type of flu is circulating. So um, let's go back and talk about the flu shot first. Um, every year we have an influenza vaccine. It's a little bit different than the year before. And we look six or seven months prior to flu season and make a determination of what strains of flu we think are going to be most prevalent in flu season and then generate a vaccine over the next six months. So all the vaccines have three or sometimes now four types of influenza in them. They always have two A strains. A is the more severe version of influenza. Most of the flu season is influenza A. And this year they chose A California, which is an H1N1 um, influenza. This is the swine flu from 2009. It's been in the regular flu shot every year since then. Um, there's an A Texas, which is an H3N2 type of an influenza, and then a B uh, version of influenza, and then the quadrivalent uh, flu vaccine has a second B Brisbane added. So uh, not a significant difference between the three and four uh, valent uh, flu vaccines. The initial information from the CDC, they do two different things. They currently match and see what type of influenza is circulating, and 93% of it, typical of regular flu season, is an influenza A, and there's about 6% influenza B circulating right now. They further go in and they analyze the influenza and they tell us what type of strain is predominant. So this year, the predominant strain, at least right now, is an H3N2, which tends to be a more severe influenza. It tends to be involved in the last three uh, bad flu seasons where H3N2 predominant and 99% of the influenza uh, A that we're isolating is this H3N2. Less than 1% is the H1N1 or the swine flu from 2009. So different flu season than three year or four years ago. Um, they further then look at the strain and determine if that H3N2 is a good match for the H3N2 in the vaccine. And unfortunately, it's about 42 to 52 percent uh, of a match. So a good portion of the H3N2 has had what's called antigenic drift. Um, so influenza every year reproduces and it changes a little bit and always is one step ahead of our immune system. And this is why we get a flu shot. Unfortunately, sometimes the vaccine is more than six months ahead of our guesstimates and it mutates um, after we already make our decision as to what type of uh, strain to put in the flu shot. The good news is, is that there absolutely is crossover between all the H3N2s, so you may get a 50% or so immunity from this particular strain, which means if you catch it, you might be half as sick as someone who did not get the vaccine. So even if the flu shot does not match well to the flu of the season, it's still a good bet to get the flu shot. So don't let the TV news tell you that it doesn't match and don't get the flu shot. You should still get the flu shot. Uh, we are epidemic or large volume of influenza in several states right now. Uh, Illinois, always leading the game, uh, has a significant amount of influenza. Uh, most of the influenza in Illinois that I'm seeing uh, is in unvaccinated patients, and so far it's all been influenza A on my flu test that I do in the office. Uh, Louisiana has a high degree of influenza. Florida has a high degree of influenza. Um, Alaska over here in the corner has a large uh, volume of uh, influenza. And Maryland, or one of those little states in the corner, does uh, as well. That's Maryland and that's uh, Rhode Island, I think. So several states have it widespread, usually within one to two weeks. That map changes in almost everybody's widespread. So if you've not gotten your flu vaccine yet, go get it now because flu season is here. Uh, the good news is we're about a week away from Christmas break, and a lot of times when we see early influenza starting to ramp up, everybody goes home for two weeks, and we don't have that school spread, um, and it kind of puts a little bit of a damper on it, but it is early in the season. Uh, we are having travel, obviously, with Christmas holidays, so someone in Illinois uh, with influenza gets on a plane and goes to one of these states over here, and they transmit it to people who might not have otherwise had the direct contact, but very early flu season. The flu shot is not perfect, but still a good bet to get. 
uh, H3N2 is the predominant strain, and that is typically the strain that's associated with epidemic or bad flu seasons. Uh, so far, there's been over 500 hospitalizations for flu. There's been no pediatric deaths, um, but we'll follow that up as time goes on because the CDC prints a report every week. So if there's something significantly different, I'll update you on it. Dr. Castello, thanks.